The human mind can only perceive three dimensions of physical space and then the fourth dimension of time. So again, space and time is the space in which we dwell, the dimension in which we live. We can't see or perceive other dimensions. So for the time being, we are limited to this four dimensional reality. And what's really interesting is our capacity to pattern that four dimensional reality. I mean, one of the reasons that I love things like music is that music and cinema and media is a kind of painting in time. You know, whereas other artwork, like if you look at a painting on the wall, that is a static 2D image. That is not necessarily an experience that unfolds in time. It's an experience that unfolds in space. But music, music is a patterned slice of space and time. Music is a subjective experience that you actually step into and that actually unfolds in the dimension in which we actually live and breathe, which is that four dimensional reality. So when you talk about the power of rhythm, when you talk about the power of collective ecstasy, why people go to concerts, why people go to festivals, because the musicians essentially start by instrumenting rhythm. So all of a sudden they create a collective synchronized rhythm that again is patterned in space and in time and you're hearing it and it loops around it's like so you start to pattern the rhythm that unfolds in space and time and then you invite the audience to step into it so all of a sudden everybody becomes synchronized you know so we all become one thing and that's what's called collective experience and in that ecstasis in that merger where everybody becomes synchronized under one patterned experience that unfolds in space and in time is when music purges us. It's when music leads to that uh, aesthetic arrest, that consummation. We pop out on the other side of that experience saying, oh my God, that festival was amazing. I felt so connected to the people. The vibes were so good. You had to be there to know what I feel. These experiences are ineffable. They are beyond articulation. Words do not give them justice. We can't just tile the experience over with description. You have to see it to believe it. You have to experience to know what I'm talking about. And these, the ineffability of these, of these musical ecstasis, of this capacity, of music and concert and vibe and people together to create these shared ecstasy, this uh, electronic Buddhism in which the self vanishes is one way in which we escape death. It's one way in which we pierce the finite and for a second we become infinite. And this, oh, this is a beautiful thing. It's why I pattern playlists of music on my phone. It's why I hang out with friends and always want to play the music in the background. I mean, this is what we do. We pattern, we colonize, we decorate, we architect, we stage space and time. <laughs> we are four-dimensional engineers, my friends. That's what we are.